What in the world is Amazon FBA? Too late to get in? And my favorite question, how do I get started as a complete beginner? Well, I'm glad you asked. In today's video, we're gonna jumpstart into the world of Amazon FBA as I break down for you the three easy steps that it takes to begin that awesome Amazon FBA private label business right from where you are sitting. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, my name is John Hammer, and thank you for coming to my channel. My passion is helping you achieve time and money freedom by building a rewarding Amazon FBA private label business. If this is your first time here and you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like, smash that subscribe button, and kindly tap on that bell notification so that you can be on top of when my next video comes out. Let's get started. First off, let's go over real quick what Amazon FBA actually means and why it's such an awesome time to get started in this type of e-commerce business. So FBA is short for Fulfillment by Amazon. What's amazing about this tiny little acronym is that Amazon picks, packs, and ships your items anytime a customer buys your product, all without you even lifting a finger. What's also great about this is that you essentially never have to see, feel, or handle your inventory at any point in this business. It's all conveniently stored for you in a special Amazon FBA warehouse. However, let's get one thing straight here. Amazon FBA is not drop shipping. Drop shipping is where you don't actually own any of your own inventory. You manually have to build your own website, advertise your products on an external platform, and try to drive customer traffic from there to your st own store website. On top of that, you have to place each and every order to your supplier each and every time. Then they have to send each and every order to your customer each time they buy your product. So essentially, the shipping time can be as long as up to a week. With the power of FBA, however, you can private label your own product. That means you can find generic products and place your own unique brand label on them so that it stands out. And you can use Amazon's platform to sell your own products. Let's not forget that Amazon's platform allows you access to sell to millions of customers. As of this filming, they have already surpassed 100 million, not just customers, but prime members. Which means that every time Amazon ships out your product, it will arrive at their door in two days, one day, or even hours. So now you might be saying, well, wait a second now, does that mean that it's too late for me to start selling on Amazon with all those people on there? The answer is no, not even close. Amazon is less than two million sellers, which might sound like a lot on paper, but compared to the amount of buyers that they have, that's less than one out of every 50 customers. There's truly no better time to start selling on Amazon. So now hopefully I've convinced you to embark on this exciting journey. So let's move on to the three easy steps that I want to share with you to start selling successfully as a private label business on Amazon. Let's get started. The first step to starting an Amazon FBA business is to find your product. Here, we want to find products that have low competition yet high demand opportunities. Essentially, we want to make sure we follow this low competition, high demand rule when picking a product so that we don't run into any huge obstacles when we're finally ready to sell. The number one key to assessing the competition is to always look at the reviews. As a rule of thumb, we want to find most listings on the first page that are under 100 reviews. On the other hand, we want to avoid competing with listings that have hundreds or even thousands of reviews. A product research tool can help make this process more efficient but is not required if you're just starting out. These tools can pull listings up in one convenient window so that you can analyze metrics to determine competition and demand, such as total sales, revenue, reviews. But if you want to learn more about product research in depth, be sure to check out my future tutorial videos that will go in detail about the best ways to find products for Amazon FBA. All right, so step number two is to actually source your product. Here, we want to find a manufacturer that will make these products for us and apply our special private brand label. I personally have had great success finding suppliers on Alibaba.com, but running a simple Google search to find a supplier for your particular product also works as well. Also make sure when looking for suppliers that you find out how much per unit your chosen product costs. We also want to look for suppliers that are verified. 
highly rated, and have been in business for quite a while now. Finding a reputable supplier can make your product save you many, many, many headaches down the road. Next, we want to contact suppliers that meet our criteria, such as picking the best one and paying a down deposit so that they create our product. Be sure to request a sample of their product and inspect during the manufacturing process to ensure that they are meeting your desired quality standards. Once they have finished making your product, ship the inventory to an Amazon FBA warehouse so that Amazon can check in and fulfill your shipping your orders for you. Step number three, and the absolute best one in my opinion, is to finally start selling your product. We want to create our first listing here so that we can give our private label product a beautiful home on Amazon's website. This means looking for keywords that are relevant to the product we are selling so that it will show up correctly on Amazon's search algorithm. Again, using a tool here can make it easier and more efficient to find keywords that relate to our listing so that we can use them in our title, bullet points, and description, but is not required when we are just starting out. Oh, and don't forget to post high quality photos that show off not just the features of the product, but ways in which it can benefit our target customers. Once the inventory hits the FBA warehouse, our listing will officially go live. However, with zero sales on Amazon, they cannot possibly rank the listing very high. Therefore, we need to give that listing a boost and launch with daily sales right out the gate so that our first product will rank to the top of page one and give our private label brand the exposure that it deserves. There are several ways to do launches, but the two easiest ones, in my opinion, are by applying either an enticing discount coupon or promotion to the listing and by Amazon sponsored ads, also known as PPC, to attract new customers to the listing. Now, I really enjoy talking about Amazon PPC, and I will definitely come up with more in my future YouTube videos that go much more in depth on this topic. So if you're interested, be sure to check out those as soon as they drop. And that's it. Once you start generating your first sales, Amazon handles all the customer support, ships the products to their warehouse, and the best part, every two weeks, Amazon sends you a <laughs> automatically with the sales that you've made. It's really that easy. Comment yes below if you feel motivated to start on Amazon FBA business now that you've learned these key tips. So there's really no reason when it comes to getting started right now and begin building your successful Amazon FBA business. Get out there, go, start now, do it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe so that you can watch more videos like this uploaded constantly on my channel. Thanks for watching.